The GitHub Repositories extension for VS Code lets you browse and edit code from a GitHub repo using your desktop instance of VS Code without actually cloning that repo to your machine. It's kind of like github.dev on the web, except for your desktop instance of VS Code. Now, here I've already installed the extension, so let's actually open up a repository. So I'm going to go to the command palette with Control-Shift-P or Command-Shift-P, and I'm going to say GitHub Repositories, and I want the GitHub Repositories open repository command here. Now, at this stage, I can paste in a repository URL, or I could actually go and select a repository from GitHub. So I'm going to go and select one from GitHub, and now it's going and checking what repositories I have access to. So I'll say something like Microsoft, VS Code. And after filtering down the list a little bit, I can go and select the VS Code repo. Now, this repository is actually quite large, so cloning it would take a little bit of time. But what it's doing here is it is going and connecting to that repository and just loading the information that I need to actually see it in my editor. So you can see that it loaded up pretty quickly here, much faster than actually doing a clone. And now I'm able to start browsing around in this repository. So I could go to the readme, for example, here, start browsing around the readme. You can see that I have syntax highlighting. My theme and all of my uh, local UI type extensions are also going to kick in here. So I, I could really have a nice browsing experience. And I can even jump around to different files. So if I wanted to go to the refactor file here, for example, I could just use quick open to go and open that file. Again, I'm going to have syntax highlighting. I even get some basic IntelliSense here. So I'd be able to trigger some basic suggestions here and actually get some basic IntelliSense. And that's kind of showing the other thing you can do with the GitHub Repositories extension, which is making basic code edits. So let's say I want to go and edit this file. I'll go add a simple to-do comment. So I fix this, something like that. Now, after editing the code, I can actually go and commit this change back to GitHub. So I'll go over to my standard source control view over here. And you can see that I have the uh, single file that I've changed here that is in the list of changes. I'll go and stage that. And then I can go and uh, type a commit message. And it's telling me that when I actually make the commit here, it's going to push that directly to GitHub. So again, I don't have a local branch. So my change is going to go directly to GitHub. So I could say add to do. And then when I go and I commit that with the check mark up here, it would actually push that directly to GitHub. You can also use the GitHub Repositories extension to go and review pull requests. So if I go over here to my GitHub extension, you can see I can actually go to the pull request for this repository. It's currently loading those up. And I can actually go through and browse and interact with the different pull requests that are open on this repository. So you can really use it for all different stages of your workflow.